Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we garden here and live here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. I'm here in my first floor sunroom and the project today is to take down the Christmas tree and rearrange the room a little bit and get things set up with a new rug. I got a new rug from Ruggable.com, which by the way, this video is not sponsored. I just love the Ruggable rugs and I want to get this room straightened around and get that rug down on the floor. So come with me and let's do this project today. We already have a ruggable rug in our living room. Actually, we have two of them. There's one over here on this end of the room and a, the matching one over there, and they're great. We've already been able to take them up off the floor, put them in the washing machine and dry them and put them back on the floor and it gets rid of pet stains so well. So I love ruggable and in fact, we have one in our foyer as well. The one in the foyer is the first one we bought. It was a trial to see if I liked it, if it would stand up to the use and the wear and the dirt. I like having it at the front door because it, you know, if we track any mud or dirt in from the front door, um, I wanted to be able to test to see if it truly is washable in the washing machine. And yes, I've been able to wash this rug and the other ones already in the washing machine a couple of times. Had these rugs um, coming on a year, maybe a little more than a year, and they are wonderful. I just really love the product. So again, this video is not sponsored, but I do have two actually new rugs from Ruggable that are currently just laying here in the foyer because I don't have any place else to put them until we get them laid down. But uh, one of them's going in the first floor sunroom and one of them's going upstairs in the second floor sunroom. So those Christmas trees are the first two that will be coming down. The one in the dining room is still there, the one in the living room is still there, and the one in the TV room is still there. Um, so I, you know, We'll take them a little bit at a time. Um, I will have a link down below that you can go to Ruggable to get these particular, this particular rug that I have, plus the other ones that I just showed you. Um, that is an affiliate link. So if you buy them, no cost to you, I might get a little bit of a commission, but really this isn't about that. This is about me sharing with you a product that I love that you might want to try for your home too. Okay, I wanted to stop here and just give you an update on what the old rug was like. I bought this rug from Wayfair in the fall of 2015 and it has served us well. It was inexpensive at the time. I think it was right under $300. I could be wrong about that. Um, but I loved it and I still do, do love it, but it's got some stains on it and I have not been able to get them out. This area, I have stains from a metal bucket that I had set here and unfortunately, it wasn't watertight, I thought it was, but you can see there are rings of rust where the uh, metal bucket had sat here and the rust stains have actually spread out into this big semicircle. Also, we of course have lots of pet stains. Lots of pet stains, which I won't really go into too deeply. So I do like this rug and we'll probably be building it on the basement floor downstairs so that we can have a little bit more comfortable surface to work on for things like our seed starting station or our workbench, things like that. Um, there's nothing wrong with this rug, except for the stains that I can't get out.
two new rugs, uh, one for the upstairs sunroom and one for the downstairs sunroom. And you can see they are so similar. They're really, really, really close to each other in colors and in design, but the one that has the more black and the more rust in it is for the downstairs sunroom because we have that brick colored tile floor. And the one that is a lighter color with less black and more blue in it is for the upstairs sunroom, which is painted blue on the walls and doesn't have as much black uh, in the room. So this is the one we're going to be putting in the sunroom downstairs today. <music> friends I'm really pleased with how this rug looks in this room I love the colors of it I love the faux vintage style of it I mean it's supposed to look like it's an antique um, but it's brand new and clean as a whistle and I love it the colors in it tie in the brick colored tile floors with the green how do I do this there we go the green on the walls and the creamy white woodwork and the white sofa and the black accents that we have in a lot of our furniture in this room so I love the color of the rug I love the way it pulls it together and most of all I love that it is machine washable I've taken an 8x10 rug just like this the one in the living room and I've put it in my washing machine and in my dryer and boy is that a lifesaver when you live with some dogs who aren't maybe hmm, the cleanest ones ever. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the way this room is coming back together. And uh, yeah, it's been a hot and sweaty day, but well worth it. Here's another view of it all together. I um, decided to put the white cover on the sofa because it reminds me of kind of a wintry scene. And with the white uh, chair cover over there, I think it's really nice. And it just keeps the room kind of more cohesive. I do like the dark brown velvet that we used to have on here this morning and for the last year and a half or so. But I do have two covers and sometimes I use this one in the summer only and use the brown one in the winter only. But I kind of like with the snowflakes that I'm going to leave up here until spring and, you know, the, just the white chair and the other white in here. I feel like the white sofa is a nice touch. So, yeah. Um, please ignore all the wrinkles on the skirts and stuff. This has been stored for a year and a half in a box in the closet and I don't feel like ironing my sofa. So, yeah. In this area over here, I will be putting back my three-tiered plant stand that currently is in the sun, sunroom upstairs, but I just don't feel like doing that job right now. So this is what it looks like for now. The beautiful hanging planter uh, stand that my daughter-in-law gave me and some um, old uh, paper whites that I forced a while ago and some of the new ones that are coming right along right now. That end of the room is still a mess, so let's not look at it. Well, thank you so much for joining me today as I took down the Christmas tree, replaced the rug, and cleaned things up in here. Get it freshened up for the rest of this winter and headed into spring. What are you doing in your home? Do you have your Christmas stuff taken down? And do you do any changing up of your home decor in the January timeframe? Or do you just kind of hum along until spring and then 
start with uh, spring decorations. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're doing in your home these days. And come back and join us um, on our future videos. We've got lots of things on the works for uh, bringing you on this channel. So I hope to see you again real soon, friends. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.